What's up? 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 What's up, sun seeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys the collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, sun seeds, for this message to resonate. Sun seeds, please make sure you're using discernment. Take what resonate and leave the rest behind. <laughs> What's up, sun seeds? What's up? Hope everyone is doing well. So all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome to the Soul Tribe. Welcome, welcome. Sunsees, be mindful. This could be past, present, or future. If this is not your energy, this could just be with someone external towards you, okay? Let's get some messages. Let's get some messages from your person. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energies from my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Please and thank you. Anyone that's sending me and my collective sun seeds, any evil eye, any negative energy, I send it back to the sender a thousand fold. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit. What's the most important messages my collective sons need to hear at this time for their person? What is going on with their person at this current time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Give me some messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we have divine union. Okay, first card out, divine union. You left every part of me untouched. I realized... Now you are. I realize now who you are. Divine union. So this is someone you're in separation for. This is a very divine connection. Uh, this person is saying, you left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. This person is definitely missing you. You guys both could be indigos, earth angels, star seeds. But this is someone that is definitely missing you, Sun Seeds. Longing for you, I'm hearing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Longing for you. Constantly thinking about you. Constantly on this person's mind. Okay? Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my collective Sun Seeds person, please, and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we had dating. This person could be one of, um, you know, start off, you know, where you guys, um, not where you guys left off at, but this person, uh, maybe you guys started quick and you guys didn't date. This could be someone who wants to date you now, okay? They want to start off slow and they want to um, start dating again. Let's get to know each other. Because I feel like a part of both of you guys in the separation have changed where you guys are going to have to get to know each other all over again. Um, I do feel like you, your souls are familiar uh, with each other and always will be because you guys are connected. Um, your soul is one. Oh, excuse me. That's confirmation. Thank you, spirit. But I feel like you guys are going to need it to date. You know, get, get to know each other all over again. Get to, you know, get back to that playful energy, flirting, you know, things like that. Also, spirit is saying this person could have, um, this person could have been, uh, find themselves back out in the dating scenes. And it's somebody that realized that there's no option. None of these options compared to, you know, the one, um, that I'm in love with my divine counterpart. Okay, this person could have definitely tried to move on from you, Sun Steve, but it's just not working for them. Holy Spirit, give me more messages, please, and thank you. I'm, I'm getting um, balance, partnerships, you know, coming into union, coming into connection. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please, and thank you. Okay, so there are unsent messages. Okay, I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chickened out. So this person is someone who constantly this is somebody who writes messages up and then they immediately delete it this person is not um but some of you guys this person feel like you're done with them sun sees that you're dating and you have moved on okay um you, you don't want nothing to do with them anymore we have divorce some of them feel like you're done with them some of them feel like you have ended this um connection okay to um you know move on some of them feel like you don't want this anymore this person has a lot to say to you, a lot that they want to share with you. They do. Yeah, look up to the bottom. Only you. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. So if you've been wondering, this person is not seeing anyone else. I feel like this person think that you moved on, Sun Seed. This person think that you're dating other people. And I look under the bottom again. I love you. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say it. Oh, wow. 
Wow. If this person truly loves you. If you was wondering if this person was in a connection with someone else, they're not. Okay? No escape. It doesn't matter how far I run. My heart always runs back to you. For some of you, this person doesn't even feel worthy of this connection. Some of them feels like, you know, you're going to find somebody that that's somebody else that's going to treat you better than, you know, than they did. And we have commitment. When I think about when I think about my future, I see you. Mm. This person wants a commitment. Some of them feel like you fell out of love with them. You gave your heart to someone else. I'm here and I don't want to be embarrassed. So that could be the reason why this person, um, you know, sending you unsent messages because this person doesn't want to be embarrassed. This person feels like you have moved on. Give me more messages, Holy Spirit. We have the world card. They feel like you, you know, you fell out of love for them. That you, they feel like it's over. Page of Cups. Someone is very apologetic for how they treated you. This person could have been raised by an older figure, a grandmother, a grandfather. This person could be very close to their grandmother. This person is more sensitive than what you uh, what you think or what they appear to be. We have the Sun card. Yeah. Some of them feel like you found another significant other and you're happy with that. The high priestess. Mm. With the justice card, high priestess with the justice. With the two of cups. Wow, sun seeds. Okay, this person wants to come in and bring you justice. This is somebody that only has eyes for you. Okay. They want things to be, you know, they want another, they want another chance to make things fair, make things right. With the high priestess, I feel like this is what they're hiding from you, what you don't know. Just because you haven't spoken to this person does not mean that this person um, is with someone else or, you know, have moved on. This person only has eyes for you. This is someone that sees themselves with you for a long time. This is not something that you guys have went through and this is over. No, it's affecting this person. This person actually loves you. The king of wands under the bottom. I feel like this is somebody who, yeah, the king of wands with the tower. This is somebody, I'm getting like the TikTok, so I see like a TikTok in my third eye. Somebody feels like if they don't, you know, they could have had a sudden epiphany. Like, you know, if I don't take action, I can possibly lose this person forever. You guys could be dating a fire sign. Um, a Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or two fire signs could be dating each other, taking how it resonate. That's not going to be for everybody. But there's a tower here. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Shrimp card and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody really, really want to work on this, I see. When I say really want the Shrimp to the Eight of Pentacles, somebody really wants to work on this. This is someone you're not in communication with. They don't know if you're dating someone. They don't know if you moved on. But energetically, they feel like you have. They feel like you don't want this. Uh, you could um have felt like, you know, you felt like this person was sneaky, sun seeds, you know? Um, yeah, you could have felt like this person was sneaky. And you could have decided to free yourself. But this person is like, whoever I'm picking up on, somebody is really not doing anything at all. Okay? This person feels like you're going out, you're dating, you know, whether it's dinner, uh, I heard coffee, movies. Somebody feels like you're leaving your options open. Yeah, the hermit. They feel like this is the reason why you guys still are in separation. This person, um, this connection, this could be for you or your person, but somebody could suffer PSD because of this connection. Ooh, yeah. 
Holy Spirit, give me more messages, please. Thank you. This is somebody that feels like you're partying and living your bestest life, you know? Spirit, give me a card on the uh, Holy Spirit. Give me a card on the world card, please, and thank you. Something can be significant with the number 21. Give me a card on the world card, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Yeah, the world card is clarified with the chariot and the seven of swords. So some things you could, guys could have decided to, you know, walk away because you felt like this person was sneaky. They was messy. Um, could have been something that you found out with the higher friend and the page of cups. This is somebody that, I mean, whatever they did to you, they want to apologize because this is somebody they see that, you know, they can have a commitment with a long lasting relationship. If they were sneaky before, that is person, this person realized you the one. Something could have gotten exposed as well. Give me a card on the Sun Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Sun card is clarified with the Ten of Cups. This person feels like you ended out a cycle and you, you know, you emotionally fulfilled somewhere else. Like you're happy wherever you at. Um... We had the two of wands, but it came up in reverse. Maybe you guys, um, you know, could be stuck in crossroads where you don't know if you want to, you know, move on. Okay. You could be undecided if you want to just, you know, completely just, you know, move on and leave this connection behind. Someone also feel like you're, you're planning to, you know, move forward and go towards, you know, um, I'm here to choose you. Yeah, but there's an offer coming in. Look at this. Knight of Cups with the Emperor with the em You know what, Sunseed? Look at this. Yeah, I'm telling you. There's somebody who got some love for you, baby. Divine Counterparts. The first card out. Divine Union. Empress Emperor with the Knight of Cups. Whoever your Divine Counterpart is, they're coming in to bring you um, an offer. Ten of Swords. You could have felt betrayed before in the past. You could have found out some something that really, really hurt at you, Sunseeds. Maybe you've seen something online on your phone. But Ten Swords, Spirit said everything was still fine. Eight of Pentacles, you could have decided to choose to work on yourself and free yourself from the situation. Yeah, you could have decided to separate yourself from this person and focus on... A lot of you guys could have went back to school. You know, um, a lot of you guys could have started a hobby something that interests you you and and that's for a lot of you guys you you know for some it's not gonna be for all but for some of you guys you're not dating you just focused on something new some new project that you're working on um that has a lot of your attention and because you're not giving attention to this connection anymore um this person feels like you have moved on and freed yourself somewhere else five of wands it's a battle but i feel like the battle was in their head okay with the five of wands the temperance card Somebody could be um, regret because I heard TikTok earlier. Somebody could be regretting, um, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity. Yeah, something got exposed to you, Sunsee, about some conflict drama. This person could have definitely had you in competition before. You could have found out this person was dating someone before. But this person is single now. Spirit, give me a card on this two of wands in reverse. Please and thank you. The temperance. I'm hearing just have patience. Just have patience. Somebody want to come through and balance it out and make it fear. This person doesn't want to lose you. This person thinks highly of you. Whether you, you know, feel like it or not. So this person feels like you're very grounded. If this person would hate to see you with someone else. This person this person sees you as someone very mature. Um this person could have been childish in the past. Mm. 
Somebody feel like if they can't have you, nobody else, nobody else could. Holy Spirit, give me a card on the seven of swords, please, and thank you. Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. You could have felt like this person, um, this person, you know, was flighty, you know, in and out. In and, you could have felt like this person was flighty or um, inconsistent. Uh, one minute they did in your life, and then the next minute you don't hear for them. Um... It could have, um, you could have found out something online that, you know, told you that this person was being sneaky or showed you something that this person was being sneaky. You could have seen something on your phone. Yeah, but well, this person could have definitely had, you know, um, been getting um, attention elsewhere. And that could have been something that you didn't stand for. But this person wants to apologize. Maybe you told this person, you know what? If you know, if you don't stop what you're doing, you know, I'm over it. I, I'm going to be done with it. You know, and someone must could have not took you serious, but then you left. We have the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups. See, the thing is, this person knows how beautiful and how confident you are. They, they, uh, anybody, anybody, you know, would love to be with you. You know, anybody. Somebody knows how intuitive you are as well. Somebody knows that you're very attractive. Um, it's, it, it's, it's not a problem for you to start over a whole new connection. Eight of Cups. I heard sober. So you could be someone who, you know, um, you know, doesn't do anything. Or this could be this person. Whatever addiction, thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever addiction that somebody was battling... Somebody is cleaning their act up. I love it. Give me a card on the Knight of Cups, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. The Knight of Cups is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody that wants a new beginning with you. Your divine counterpart. Spirit, give me a card on the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups was clarified with the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. You could be blocking this person out, so I see, because, or, you know, just guarded towards this energy because you feel like this person just took too long when it came to giving you a commitment, okay? Because I heard earlier with TikTok, but this person actually regrets, regrets, you know, moving so slow. I'm hearing like a turtle, okay? High Priestess with the Judgment. Someone could have found out about a mistress or you could have felt like this person was trying to, um, you know, string you along with other people. Keep you a mistress. Take out a resonate. Spirit, give me a card on the high priestess. Yeah, king of cups. You could have felt like this person was hiding how they truly feel about you. For some of you guys, you know, take how it resonates. This person could have gotten out of a relationship prior towards you. Um, um, even though that they're single now, this person could have still have like some kind of like residue from their past person on to them. Um, something that they had to clear out. With the world card, somebody knows what the, with the world falling behind the sun. Somebody knows what they want. It's like fulfillment. I'm happy. I can, you know, I completed something. I did it. Like congratulations. Like. <sighs> this is somebody that wanders about you all day. This person tried to get by. They try to they try to do their they, they daily tasks, but this person constantly thinks about you. It's like thoughts is just constantly of you, just you know, hitting this person's mind. The high priest is king of cup. This is I'm telling you, they somebody hid how they truly felt. To the point where they can't anymore. Six of Pentacles under the bottom. Now they want to give you equal give and take. Will of Fortune. Something has changed with the Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. This person this person truly loves you. And they know you truly love them too. But they know that you know your worth as well. With the Empress and Queen of Wands being here. They know you know your worth. We have the lovers here. This person had to make a choice. Six of Wands. This person could have definitely betrayed you, Sun Season. It could cause you to pull away. Give me a card on this Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit. But there was a cycle that needed to be closed out. And I feel like somebody was dealing with some um 
some residue from the past like a past person, you know, who they, like I said, they could have just been get out of that connection, but it was still some residue on there. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. This person wants to communicate with you and tell you that how they left somebody out in the cold, how they, they somebody chooses you. They're walking away from one situation to come towards you. Yes, Page of Swords. Yeah. I feel like in the meantime, whether you wear it or not, this person waits on you. Ooh, they waiting to see what you doing. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's a damn truth. What's this Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit? This person could have kept telling you that they needed time, sun seeds. You know, to free themselves, but <laughs> somebody free. They free themselves now. Yeah, Ace of Swords to clarify with the King of Wands. The truth is that this person wants to come and take action towards you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Eight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. That is the truth. This person have anxiety. Um, this person feels like you're done with them. This person um, feel like, you know, you you know, like I said earlier, you know your worth. You're setting up boundaries with this person. Like I said, some type of truth could have been revealed to you. You could have seen something, okay, that caused you to pull your energy back. You could have felt like this person was, um, you know, just inconsistent when it came to this connection. But this person is having anxiety about whatever you know. It's something that you know. They have an anxiety about it. Give me a card on this Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit, Queen of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody knows. <laughs> this person feels like you're choosing you. Okay. Um, you're focusing on you right now, nurturing, you know, what, what what makes you happy. This person sees you as, you know, the Queen of Pentacles. Like, you know what you need to know. Okay. You got receipts for everything. Okay, I mean, text messages, whatever, you got received. Screenshots, you got that. This person also know you are someone who they would love to give a commitment. The Queen of Pentacles is wifey material. You handle everything. You take care of everything. That's why you don't mind standing your ground and setting up boundaries because you know your worth. And it stresses this person out. It gives this person anxiety because they feel like you're done with this union. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody feels defeated with the death card. They want something to change. This person also know that you've been through a lot. Okay. Somebody see that you work really hard. You're building a beautiful um, life for yourself. Or oh, that's what you're focused on. We have the six of cups that flew out with the nine of pentacles and a five of regrets. Yeah. This is somebody that's reminiscing about you a lot. Okay. I feel like whatever this person feels like you got everything that I need in a woman or a man. And and with you know, with the six of cups with the nine of pentacles, this person's in a lot of regret about it because it's like, how 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 did I how did I fumble this person? How did I, you know, how how did I, you know, why how Okay, thank you, Spirit. How was not able to choose quick, you know, sooner? How did I let it how did I let us get to this point where we at now? And how can we move forward? Thank you, Spirit. I cannot make it up. And how can we move forward with the six of swords, the three of swords? The person is hurt. Hang me in. I heard this is going to be random for somebody. Somebody could be afraid of heights. Oh, this person is definitely hurt. There's someone that's um, ready to surrender to this connection as well. Give me another card on the hand. Oh, spirit. Hang on, please, and thank you. Yeah, the sun card. This person is very enlightened. They know exactly who you are to them. And it hurts this person because this person sees you as a forever person. You have the sun card out here twice with the eight of pentacles under the bottom. Somebody definitely wants to work on this. Okay. Yeah, the ace of pentacles with the seven of cups. If this person had any options before, you can best believe them options is over and done with. Okay. This somebody wants to work on this connection with you. Page of Wands with the star card. Um, overall, you could be expecting good news. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be in a public eye or just being celebrated. Um somebody have a I'm hearing a major glow up. Somebody is like, how did I fumble my person? That's my person. Yeah, four cups. They feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Two of cups on this connection with you. 
Um, this person uh, feel like you're healing. They know that you, you this person feels like you have self-love. You have confidence. This person feels like you know exactly who you are, you know? This is nothing but self-love. You're not codependent on this person to make you happy. You have just what you need, just enough to do that for yourself. And that is so attractive to whoever that's for. Let's get some more messages from your person. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Give me messages from my collective sunsees person. Please and thank you. This person feel like, you know, your life, you having a, you know, a fabulous life without them. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together one day. Yeah. This person, um, it said each day I think about how it would be like if we were together one day, I will be ready to surrender. And look at this. Look at this. Whoever this reading going to resonate for. Oh, baby. If you know about Tara, this person is ready to surrender. Okay? I hope we could come back together and pick up where we left off. This is what they want. This could have been somebody that was out having a lot of fun, and, you know, with this Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Thought they had enough time to have fun, you know, do what they want and think this, you know, you was going to sit around and wait. You get them, Cyrus? That was confirmation. This person thought they had enough time. Holy Spirit, give me more for my collective sense. person, thank you, Holy Spirit. I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. Well, we see that. This person is saying they lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. This person, um, this person's souls irk, irk for you. Like, um, it's, it's, they so, it's like, it's different. It's one thing that, you know, just to miss somebody. But when your soul is not at rest because you miss somebody and it makes you want to get emotional. That, that's like, that's that's a different type of hurt. It was just 27, 17 on the clock. Um, yeah. I want to fight for this connection. But I just don't know how. I seek strength and courage. That's why we have it out here. Some unsent messages. Anymore, Holy Spirit. This person has to build up the confidence and the courage. This person is going, you know, this person has to, be, you know, this is your divine counterpart. You know, be coming from that Knight of Wands and, 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 and going towards the Emperor, that's like a, ooh, that's a big, you know, a big change, you know? This, this, you forced this person to want to grow up. So many cards that fell on the floor. You made me see a side of me that I have grown to hate. Because this person doesn't like it. You know, they don't like that side of them. Because, let me get these cards on the floor. So see. Because I don't think nobody ever checkmate or came, or came at this person the way you did. Okay? This person, when this person watches you, you could have had a major glow up with the sun and the star. You know, maybe your life is totally different from the last time you was with this person. Okay, um, mm. you're making this person, you know, see, see things different. I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. They're hoping that you allow them to turn things around, so see, I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. They haven't given up. This person is trying to work on themselves. This person not even, you know, with any, anybody else. Actually, I felt like this person was intimidated by you. A part of me died when I let you go. Wow. A part of me died when I let you go. I wish you could understand that this was a difficult decision for me. Yeah. This person struggled um, with, with letting you go. And now they want to come back in union. But just so happened that when this person sees you, they feel like you're living your bestest life. It's like, how do I how do I approach this person when I treated them so poorly or unfairly? When I walked away, when I made them feel like it was them the problem, the whole time it was me, I wasn't ready to change. I was intimidated by them. Mm. Somebody dealing with a lot of truth. And it's, it, it's making this person feel like crap, sun seeds. You know? So take it how it resonates. I love you so very much until we get up next time. Namaste. Namaste.